This will be the largest membrane uh, treatment plant in North America when we start up. My name is Gunnar Schreibers and I'm the project manager for the Brightwater Construction Project. So here you are in the bottom of a wastewater treatment plant. Those tanks that we were looking at from the surface outside, this is the bottom of those tanks. And these are actually the piping that um, supplies the, the vacuum to the, the manifolds up above and the membranes themselves and, and actually pull the water off. This is the main gallery. It runs about a quarter of a mile from this end of the treatment plant to the other end. So this is where all the electrical is, all the motors are, uh, all the cabling, electrical, and control systems are all located down here. And when you look at this room, it's almost symmetrical, perfectly symmetrical in the sense that the, the two sides, you're supporting the two sides of the membrane operation up above here. And, uh, I think it's amazing to look at this from an engineering design standpoint, the thinking that had to go into not only uh, building the equipment in here, but then figuring out a way to install this equipment and making it also serviceable so that you can get to it and take it apart if you need be. All the water that gets treated at the treatment plant enters this tank area here. That pipe takes the clean water 13 miles over to Point Wells, and then we discharge it in Puget Sound a mile offshore, 600 feet deep. It'll again be picked up as rainwater off the ocean and start the cycle one more time again.